What's annoying? Mobile phones, woo girls and pop music. But what else is annoying? It's when you're trying to have a shot of your Tammy Hornet and the battery cover falls off. Happens on both the original one and the re-release versions. Well, I can show you a quick video how to fix that. Oh, and there, uh, you have my permission to vomit. This is the most hideous, vile, disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. It's my girlfriend's Tammy Hornet, the John Wontanabe version, whatever it's called. Apparently he's a famous Japanese designer. Famous, I guess, I assume, for being the only designer in the world who's completely blind. Or maybe he's famous for simultaneously being a man and a four-year-old girl from the 1970s. Well, anyway, um, here it is. Um, this is a, a re-release version, not the original 19... 80s uh, Tammy Hornet, but the, this modification works for both. It's dead easy, you just need a drill, uh, a Dremel or a hacksaw, um, I need a long bolt, preferably a smooth one with a thread on the end, but you can use one with a thread all the way along it, it's just a little bit easier if it doesn't. First things first. What you need to do, if you look here on the battery tray, there is a hole I've drilled in the corner there, right in the corner of this tab. Now the reason you do it on this tab, it would technically work if you drilled through the actual tray itself. But the, the reason for the tab is, unless this tab lifts and pulls backwards, the tray cannot fall off. So, you know, if you stop this tab getting lifted beyond the sort of back wall, right there, then um, the, the thing can't come off. So you drill as close into the corner as you possibly can on this tab. Now, corresponding on the top deck, I don't know if you can see it here, uh, there it is. I've actually made it a sort of slot rather than one hole. I actually had it as a hole directly above the one on the tab, but uh, the battery, there's very little room at all, so I actually had to make it a long slot because the battery forces the bolt not to the side a little bit. This is approximately, let me just get a measurement here actually rather than approximations. From the side of the car that is the slot is between 17 and 14, 13, 17 and 13 millimeters from uh, right at the side. Get that plug out of the way. Right at the side here, so you know, right, right against the this edge of that block. Anyway, it was a three and a half mil thick bolt. Now the bolt here, because of the lack of room, what you've had to do is, if you can see, I've had to really smooth that off, take away half of the material probably along its length. I don't know if you can make out the detail there. Probably, hopefully. And I've also cut a slot in it, there, as you can see there. Let me just see, um, give you a measurement for this as well. Along the shaft itself, from the very bottom, where the head is, up to this slot is 31 millimeters. So this little slot here, I wonder if the camera can focus on it, should be 31 millimeters from the top edge of this head here. Okay. It's simply just a case, once you've drilled through, like I said, it's a 3.5mm, 3.5mm drill bit. Again, 3.5mm drill bit at the top. You poke the bolt right through the tab. It goes up through the chassis, like that, you see. And then it's just a case of strong body clip. That's it, it's like that. Won't come off. One thing you might need to do, if you get really close into the corner of that tab, 
you probably can't see it because his camera isn't actually that great. Um, I've had to cut the head of the bowl into a 90 degree angle or to grind it away to get it right into the corner. Now, you will still struggle to get it past the battery because there is no room here. Now this is for a six cell nickel metal hydride battery. It might work for a two cell lipo. Uh, I don't know. The, you know your two cell lipos can vary in width and length and stuff. Um, if you're running a two cell lipo, try and get one that is as close to the width of a, a nickel metal hydride as possible. Um, and it should be all good. And just to show you that it is actually working. I've done this for my own Tag and Hornet, and mine's is the vintage version. I actually found, I don't know how, because they're supposed to be identical, and they are pretty much identical, but I actually found slightly more room in the vintage one. I don't know if it was because maybe the plastic sort of bit warped over time, because it is a really, really old car, we'll see. But anyway, I'll, I'll put this battery in here. Now, I cannot show you this working outside, because... Tamiya plug on this Tamiya Hornet. I don't use Tamiya plugs for anything because they're rubbish. Everything I use is a Dean's connector, so... Um, yeah. Right, the battery's in there. Now, this is quite difficult because you need to get the flat edge along beside the battery and it's a right squeeze and you need to... A bit of a faff, really. Let's see if we can get it. Push that up. As far as it'll go. Body clip in. We are right. So, as you can see, battery's in. Get that area out of the way again. Bolt is in. Body clip is in. And because this tab again is getting held upright by the bolt, regardless of how much this sags here, it will not come off because this tab is up against the wall. Right. Should be absolutely solid. This cannot come out now. Obviously, you need to test it and see what happens, but that should sort your problems. If you do have any problems at all with the with this modification not working, leave a comment and uh, we'll see if we can work a better solution. But I found so far with my one, and I've taken it on and off road, you know, speed bumps and jumps and stuff. Um, yeah, I've never had a problem yet, and I've been using nickel metal hydrides are obviously heavier than lipos. If you are finding that even with the modification, the nickel metal hydrides are falling out, you could try a two cell light because they're quite considerably lighter. We'll see. Anyway, good luck with that. I hope you guys can sort your ones out and thanks very much. Cheers.